Kentool is the leading manufacturer of professional tire service tools in the world. Headquartered in Akron, Ohio, Kentool has been providing the tire industry and automotive aftermarket with quality products for over 85 years. For more information about our products, please visit our website at www.kentool.com or reach us by email at sales at kentool.com. This video is a demonstration of new industrial tire lock ring changing tools developed by Kentool for the removal and replacement of split lock rings and flange rings from three-piece solid tire wheels. These tire and wheel assemblies can be found on a multitude of industrial and commercial vehicles such as forklift trucks and many other heavy-duty material handling vehicles. Lock rings are difficult and dangerous to remove from the steel wheels and are often damaged from severe work environments. They are even more difficult and dangerous to replace after the tire has been serviced. Ken Tool's new industrial tire lock ring tools make this task faster, safer, and better. A mounting and demounting cage is needed to transfer the pressure from a hydraulic press to the sidewall of a solid rubber tire. This animation simulates the ram of a hydraulic press that is used to compress the mounting and demounting cage with three to five hundred tons of force onto the sidewall of the solid tire. Under these conditions, the solid rubber tire is compressed about one quarter of an inch to release the pressure that is holding the lock ring and flange ring against the wheel. The cage also provides an area of safety when the highly loaded spring steel rings are released. Current practice sometimes requires tools and hands to be placed inside the cage, and this can become a very dangerous situation. This demonstration will show how this tool set works within these clearances inside the cage while keeping your hands safely outside at all times. This is the separator end of the first tool. It's shaped like a boot and it is used to separate the two rings that can become stuck together during use. Put the toe of the boot between the ends of the split ring and push the tool down. This separates the split ring from the solid ring and provides a gap for the next step. Turn the tool around and put the pry out end into the split ring slot. The pry out end has a V notch at the tip that will catch the bottom inside edge of the slot found on one end of the split ring. It also has a V groove on its back which will catch and hold on to the top outer corner of the other end of the split ring. This tool cannot slip off the ring. The opposing pressure between the two ends of the ring will prevent the ring from sliding as the end is pried out and then up. Then use the demount end of the second tool. It has a flat spoon shape with a bend for a fulcrum and a stop on the top center to prevent the tool from going too far under the ring. If a tool goes too deep under the ring, it catches under the wheel flange, which prevents the tool from moving the ring. Since this tool goes under the ring only as far as permitted by the stop, you can approach the ring from the left, straight on, or from the right. In either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction, you'll always be in the perfect position for lifting up the ring. To release the ring, simply work your way around. Notice how this tool allows you to keep your hands outside of the cage when the split ring springs free. After the tire has been changed, it's time to remount the split ring. Start by placing one end of the split ring under the wheel flange on the far side of the wheel. Now, position the mounting tool at a point slightly further than halfway around from that started end. Pull the tool straight toward you to insert the tip between the ring and the wheel flange, and then push the tool down to partially mount the ring. Pull it back up to release the tool. To complete mounting the ring, put the tool in place near the unmounted end and pull it toward you to insert. If it's a very tight ring, you can use the separator end of the first tool to create a gap to insert the mounting tool. Insert the tool, push down, and you're done. Ken Tool. Easier. 
faster, safer, simply better, wherever tires are changed. Remember, tire changing is dangerous and should only be done by persons who are properly trained. Here are some safety rules for using all tire tools. Always wear eye protection when using tire irons. Never use a dented, cracked, chipped, or otherwise damaged tool. Never use a tire tool for anything except changing tires. Free tire changing safety wall charts are available from OSHA by visiting their website at www.osha.gov. For more complete safety information, read the Tire and Rim Makers Service Manual.